Welcome back to the Hellmouth. And welcome back to the channel everybody. I am Brant Fowler and I'm here with a special comic book review of a new book that came out today. So before I get into this, I am going to give some minor spoilers to this book. So if you have not read Buffy the Vampire Slayer issue number one from Boom Studios yet, go read that, come back here, and then watch this video and we can talk about it. So. Boom Studios has gotten a license to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Dark Horse had it for a while. They continue the continuity from the TV show. This is a completely new take on Buffy the Vampire Slayer, starting from scratch, kind of modernizing it a little bit, and kind of telling a similar story, but not quite the same story. So a lot of people are concerned, like, is this going to be faithful to the original material? Is it going to change it too much? What's going to go on? And I'm here to talk about that a little bit. So this is written by Jordi Belair with art by Dan Mora. And I have to say that, okay, first of all, I'm not a super Buffy fan. I do like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I watched like the first four seasons and then I skipped around through the rest of the, of the series. So I haven't even finished the thing. I have watched the end and I've watched bits and pieces of, of seasons five, six, and seven. I didn't like season four and it kind of burned me out on it for a little bit. But I do, I'm very familiar with that world. I've read some of the uh, previous comics and everything. So I do have some knowledge of Buffy. And so I, I, I know it well enough to know whether this is faithful or not, whether, whether they've gotten the characters right or not, and you know whether it's gonna upset fans or not. So let's get into this. And before I, I do this, if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe notification bell so you get updates on all the content going up up to this channel if you like my videos so Buffy the Vampire Slayer issue number one you got Buffy you got Giles you got Willow you got Xander you got vampires that's really all you need right maybe maybe not so the story in this book it it's an origin story in Sunnydale but not Buffy's origin story and that's that's kind of how um, the TV show was as well. It was her starting in a new school and she's kind of reluctant on being the Slayer and everything. So we kind of fast forward a little bit of that. In this version, she is already the Slayer. Giles is already her watcher. We understand that she's had some past experience with this in another place. She is new to the school and new to Sunnydale, just like in the original series. But the way she meets Xander and Willow is a little bit different and just it, it's a little bit fast-tracked but not so much that it takes you out or you miss a beat or you miss certain elements of it and they've changed up a little things they introduce Anya a little bit differently and and different things like that so in this one she's working at a fast food joint Tuniverse that's how it opens up and she's talking about you know her mundane boring life and how she misses LA and all that stuff and she saves Willow and Xander from a vampire and that's that's how she meets them originally and that's that's kind of how you kick off the Scooby gang in this issue and that that's there's a little bit more to it I don't want to give too much away I will say that uh, one of the vampires she tries to kill she can't kill and it leads you back to this shop of antiquities and that's how we meet Anya for the very first time and then there's a twist at the end that kind of we, we know that's going to come back into play this whole thing it's it's kind of setting for uh setting up that first arc so interesting opening for uh buffy and and like i said it deviates from the original but it's still a very similar story you still have her new to sunday dell new in the school meeting willow and xander becoming friends with them uh very fast having giles as that watcher that she's got tension with and then you introduce the vampires and a, a threat to start things off and that's and we also get we see her mother briefly uh, as well so you get all that so you're starting to get that family vibe you're starting to get the whole supernatural vibe as well but it, they don't overdo it with this first issue it's a really nice introduction the art is gorgeous uh, they did get Sarah Michelle Geller's likeness pretty dead on as far as I'm concerned. I think Xander was pretty close to Willow at times looked like Willow and at times not so much. Giles was dead on as well. So and, and Dan Moore is one of those artists that he's really good at those likenesses. So I think they did a good job with trying to get those likenesses that we're familiar with, uh, you know, in the book and the voice of the characters. 
I, I thought they nailed that as well. I thought it was a really faithful uh, take on their speech patterns and, and just the way they, they talk. You know, Xander saying stuff like, no more mouth speaking, moving with the legs. It's that kind of thing. And that's, that's the way he would talk in the show. And that's what we're used to. So I, I think the whole vibe of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, if you're a fan, um, you, you'll totally get it. And if you're coming into this new, you get all the introductions that you need. You get all, all the backstory that you need. Because the whole thing with, with Buffy, even the original, was you didn't get that full story of how she became a Slayer at the very beginning. It was you're kind of thrust in the middle of the story and, and you're thrust in the middle of the story here as well. So, but they introduce all the, the major characters that you need to know uh, well enough and they establish those relationships early on. So now that we've got the introduction out of the way, we can get into the meat of the story and going forward and uh, learn more about these other characters. I'm sure Cordelia is going to come into it uh, very soon and, and other characters like that. So it's going to be very exciting. I think Boom Studios so far has done a great job with it. Jordi Belair and Dan Mora uh, obviously know they're Buffy and they're paying tribute to the original at the same time, kind of changing it up a little bit just to tell the story from maybe a different perspective or just, like I said, slightly deviated. Maybe they'll ignore some of the... Uh, lesser stuff in the original Buffy and then kind of focus on the bigger stuff obviously um, hoping we're getting Angel and Spike and, and all those major characters that you, you've you come to love throughout the course of Buffy but for me I thought it was a fantastic first issue uh, and I'm, I'm hooked and I'm, I'm ready for more and I you know I can't wait so I would love to hear your thoughts once you've read the book and leave those in the comments below and check out all the other content on my channel and you can follow me on social media at Brand Fowler and at Last Number Press. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you real soon in another video.